Welcome back. Uh, we have news coming in with regards to the legal proceedings against uh, Alt News co-founder Mohammad Zubair. Uh, he's now been sent to 14-day custody uh, in relation uh, to a case that was filed against him in a Hathras court. Uh, and uh, two cases had been registered against him in Hathras in 2018. And uh, he's been booked in that particular matter. And uh, he's now been sent to a 14-day judicial custody in that specific case in relation to which he had been booked almost four years ago in Uttar Pradesh. Mohammed Zubair, of course, faces a slew of cases, particularly over hate speech, uh, for which he's been uh, uh, approaching multiple courts for relief. Uh, he's received interim bail in a couple of those cases, but continues to be lodged behind bars. Let me go across to Amir for more on this. Amir, what can you tell us about the specific details of the Hathras case for which now Zubair has been sent uh, to 14-day judicial custody? Uh, well, Sudhar, there are multiple cases, as you rightly said, uh, registered against Mohammed Zubair uh, across various uh, districts and police stations in Uttar Pradesh. Uh, these are two cases uh, which were registered against Mohammed Zubair for uh, in making insightful and provocative uh, comments on social media as well as for hurting people's uh, religious sentiments. Uh, now, these are uh, uh, among a uh, number of other cases which have been registered against uh, uh, in at least five districts of Uttar Pradesh, including state capital Lucknow, uh, Sitapur, Lakhimpur Khiri, as well as Hathras in Muzaffar Nagar. Uh, now, the UP police has already formed a special investigation team uh, about three days back, which will be headed by an IG rank officer. Another uh, DIG rank officer will be assisting him in the investigations. Uh, the UP police is very clear that uh, uh, these cases will be taken up on priority because these concern uh, hurting people's religious sentiments. And uh, there are a number of complaints against Mohammed Zubair uh, over the last few months for hurting people's religious sentiments uh, through his social media handling, which is why the police will investigate all these cases. Uh, the UP police team had uh, taken him uh, to his parental place uh, in Bangalore, where they tried to recover the digital devices, including laptops and mobile phones, which were used to post these comments. Uh, these are the cases which have been uh, taken up on priority because these concern hurting people's religious sentiments uh, through his social media handling, which is why the police will investigate all these cases. Uh, the UP police team had uh, taken him uh, to his parental place uh, in Bangalore, where they tried to recover the digital devices, including laptops and mobile phones, which were used to post such uh, incriminating comments. Uh, but so far, uh, there has been no success uh, as far as the recovery of uh, these cases concerned. Uh, but uh, the UP police and government have made it clear uh, that they will uh, probe these cases uh, that their in society will in fact take uh, help from uh, the forensic uh, team as well. Uh, so it remains to be seen as to how these uh, cases pan out further. For now, uh, the CGM court... Right, we'll, we'll get back in touch with uh, Amir Haq, but he was taking us through the details of the case against Zubair that had been filed in Hathras uh, several years ago, for which now he's been sent to judicial custody. Uh, he has multiple cases against him in Delhi, in Sitapur, as well as Lakhimpur Kheri, in Ghaziabad, in Muzaffar Nagar, and Hathras. He's been given interim bail in at least two cases, uh, but the Solicitor General of India, Mr. Tushar Mehta, uh, who was also representing the UP government in court, had in fact uh, said some days ago that that uh, a wider conspiracy angle also needs to be probed, his antecedents need to be probed, the sources of funding as well for which uh, more custody would be required. This was, of course, in the Sitapur as well as, as, well as the Lakhimpur Kheri case in which Zubair had been booked. And now the latest update coming from the courts is that uh, uh, the Hathras court has, uh, in fact, granted 14-day judicial custody uh, for Mohammed Zubair over his involvement there in 2018 for which he's now been booked.